Hi, are you thinking about relocating to Toronto, Ontario, Canada, but you don't necessarily want to live right in the city? Well, Etobicoke could be the place to be, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Maureen Reid with Right at Home Realty, and I'm a realtor in Toronto West, Etobicoke. Also, feel free to download the relocation guide to Etobicoke from the link below. And stay tuned for the four fabulous areas about to be discovered. Etobicoke is located in the west part of Toronto, right on the border of Mississauga. Officially, it's just the west part of Toronto. Etobicoke is the old city name that is basically stuck with the old timers before the city was divided up. But without getting into that, let's move on. In this video, we're focusing on four fabulous areas of Etobicoke's waterfront, which are Humber Bay, Mimico, New Toronto, and Long Branch. So number one, Humber Bay. Located on the waterfront is a strip of condo towers and a sprinkle of townhomes that densely pack the area. It's approximately two kilometers and over 26,000 people live here. Wow! It's a picturesque location where you can sit at one of the few restaurants and enjoy the scenery. Easy access to the LCBO, which is important to some, I wonder who, and the grocery stores are all nearby. Coming to the area will be the GO train at Park Lawn and a whole new neighborhood with an estimated of 7,100 housing units planned. The process is the GO train has to be developed first, which is due for approval January 2022. Note that the site is the Ontario Food Terminal, which is separated by the Gardner Expressway. The Gardner runs east and west through these areas, taking you to downtown Toronto on the east and west Mississauga. Either way is approximately 10 minutes depending on the traffic, of course, and sometimes it can be quite busy. If you head a little east over the Humber Bay Arch Bridge, you'll head into Sunnyside Park Pavilion, which hosts dragon boats, kayaking, volleyball event events, for example. And not to forget the Sunnyside Gus Rider Giant Outdoor Swimming Pool, which is big enough for 2,000 swimmers. Of course, these activities are weather dependent and Toronto's warm weather is from approximately May to September timeframe. The Sunnyside Cafe is great to have a bite to eat, a pint or a glass of wine. Did I mention alcohol already? One thing I wish for here is that Sunnyside Pavilion Cafe was open more and for some reason it's closed a lot. It would be nice to pop by and have a coffee in the morning. I personally think they would do very, very, very well. Anyway, this area is a little past Humber Bay to the east over the Humber Bay Arch Bridge. Now let's check out the Butterfly Garden. Sorry I don't have any butterflies for you but it's a little bit of a relaxation area, so enjoy the moment. And then we can check out the wild residents in the neighborhood. The swans, the herons, the turtles, the coyotes, the chipmunks. He's cute eating his peanut. I have to throw him in there. And as we head over to Mimico, you'll pass the water treatment facility that is designed to improve the quality of water running into Lake Ontario. Number two, Mimico, my home place. It's a mixed residential area with condos and rental apartments just west of Humber Bay. Not as many condos as Humber Bay, so it's a little bit quieter from all the activity. Lots of recreational activities, however, especially if you like to sail. You love it here. We have the Mimico Cruising Club, we have the Yacht, the, the Tobacco Yacht Club, and the Humber Sailing Club. Guess what they do there? You sail, or they teach you how to sail. How wonderful is that, and how lucky are we? Okay, not to forget items like lacrosse at Mimico Arena, or the tennis club just north of Lakeshore, where I'm told they have great red clay courts. I personally don't go there as my building has tennis courts, 
one of the two buildings in the immediate area that have courts. Or alternatively, take it easy and have a nice stroll on the Broadwalk. Maybe take your dog to the dog park at the end of Humber Bay Shores, or your cat for that matter. Mm, not sure if they're allowed though. <laughs> There's also the Farmer's Market every Saturday, running from May to October timeframe. If you enjoy some fresh produce, they are located in the parking lot at Humber Bay West. Oh, and not to forget, Mimico also has a gold train station located in Mimico. <laughs> However, the newly planned Go train at Park Lawn in Humber Bay will be closer for some, including me. Number three, New Toronto is an up and coming neighborhood where a lot of industrial developments are gradually moving out. You can find the Toronto Police College training facility, Humber College Lakeshore campus, and many elementary and middle schools. Toronto Maple Leafs and Toronto Marlies practice at the Ford Performance Centre hockey facility which is located on Kipling Avenue, which is approximately 272,000 square feet facility, which is pretty good for practice and I'd say. To find your way around the neighbourhood is pretty easy as the street naming just west of Dwight Avenue starts with 1st Street and goes up to 50, no, 42, 42nd Street next to Marie Curtis Park in Long Branch, of course. And between 9th and 13th on the north side of the street, there is city housing. A four, Long Branch is the westmost boundary of Toronto before you reach Mississauga. It is home to Colonel Samuel Smith, Long Branch and Marie Curtis Park. Also located in Long Branch is the GO train, which is one of the fastest public transportations to reach Toronto. Sad, but true. Alternatively, you can take the TTT, TTT, or the TTC streetcar bus 508 and 501 to connect you to downtown Toronto. Lots of restaurants and businesses along Lakeshore Boulevard. Let's do a quick tour. I'll take you around the neighborhood. Nice and relaxing was that short tour. Located at 28th Street next to Birch Park, you'll find Long Branch Centennial Arena, which has public skating and ice hockey. There are several churches, including Polish, Ukrainian, United Baptist, and Catholic churches located in the area. They also have a library in case you like to read. Etobicoke Waterfront is close to Toronto, or should I say, at Pearson International Airport, approximately about 10 minutes away, depending on traffic. Thinking about relocating to Etobicoke and would like a few more details, download the relocation guide from below. Have any questions, ask away in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to like it, comment or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and take care.